Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, let's do this problem right here. The question is asking: Consider a thousand to two hundred kilogram car cruising steadily on a level on a level road at ninety km per hour. Now the car starts climbing a hill that is sloped thirty degrees uh, thirty degree from the horizontal. If the velocity of the car is remained constant during climbing, determine the additional power that must be delivered by the engine. So here to find find the power we had to know the energy like energy in terms of time right total energy required so we can say that is w dot because per unit time that's why we put dot right here so here we are dealing with the uh, potential energy due to height so when we have height we we have potential energy right so we are dealing with potential energy since we have unit per unit time this is the equation is going to be mg delta z divided by delta t here we have information we have the mass right here we have they have provided the velocity and also the angle so we don't have the height really right we don't have the height but delta c over t this can be replaced by these two things can be replaced by velocity because we know that distance over time is going to be velocity right so this is this can be replaced by v vertical if we calculate v vertical that's going to be height like the velocity due to the height so to do that what we have to do we have to take the vertical component as this one so we know that cos 30 is going to be horizontal sin 30 is going to be vertical component so here we are going to use a sin 30 to find the vertical component of this speed right therefore this is going to be v sin 30 whatever the values v sin 30 so let's replace this equation mg v vertical vertical and if you calculate this one let's plug all the values that's going to be 1200 kilogram times 9 point acceleration due to gravity that's 9.81 meter per second square times v vertical is going to be simply 90 kilometer per hour 90 kilometer per hour times uh, sine 30 hour times sine 30 however this is not in SI unit right so we have to convert this one into SI unit but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to convert this hour into second because if I keep this one I will get the answer in kilojoule per second that makes everything easier so let's only convert the hour into second so we know that in one hour we have 300 3600 second so we can simply multiply hour is going to be on the bottom so we multiply the hour by 3600 second right so 300 600 second in one hour per hour so hour hour cancels and we get the second this kilo is going to give us kilo joule per second so we carry this kilo and get the final answer and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 147 kilo joule per second right we know that joule per joule per second is equal to watt so we can write this one as 147 kilowatts and also or you can say if you convert this one into horsepower that will give you 197 horsepower and that's how we and that is the power that is required to move this car and that's how we do these kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching